It's an iconic image. A farmer tills the soil. The age-old practice to till soil is a way to prepare the seedbed, release nutrients to crops and control weeds. But tilled soil is at greater risk of erosion, and that can have disastrous consequences. The loss of topsoil destroys farmland and pollutes off-farm. In the United States, removing sediment from only the lower Mississippi River costs more than $100 million each year. Other costs from soil erosion are immeasurable. In the 19th century, in the Great Plains of the United States, the Dust Bowl wind blew tilled topsoil from 65 million hectares of farmland, causing the worst environmental disaster in the history of the U.S. Throughout the world, the problems associated with soil degradation are increasing due to climate change. More frequent extreme weather events such as storms and floods impact degrading soil more. And due to the fast release of greenhouse gases, the degradation of soil is in itself a cause of climate change. But there is a solution conservation agriculture. Here's how it works. Farmers don't till the soil and disturb it as little as possible to allow the soil structure and its ecosystem to restore. They leave some crop residue in the field to reduce soil erosion and evaporation and to control weeds. They diversify the species in rotation to increase the soil's resistance to pests and diseases. In this way, farmers reduce the number of preceding operations. That has the added benefit of saving money on fuel and allowing more efficient and timely farm management. Conservation agriculture reduces erosion and makes farmland more fertile. When soil contains more soil organic matter, it acts like a sponge and holds nutrients in hundreds of thousands more liters of water per hectare. It's a challenge to change an age-old practice like tilling the soil. It's been done for generations and it requires investment in effective herbicides, new equipment and know-how. But the benefits of conservation agriculture can keep farms productive for new generations to come with the lowest costs for adaptation and mitigation. <laughs> <laughs>